What's going on guys? My name is Matt and one of the primary focuses of my channels is computer builds. Now something I usually don't include and most people don't include in the costs of computer builds on YouTube is the operating system. But at the end of the day you need an operating system for your computer to work. Now I've made a video in the past about running Windows unactivated which prompted a lot of you guys to ask me questions about other ways of running Windows for cheap including OEM keys. So what I decided to do was make this video today to tell you guys what OEM keys are, where you can get them, and how you can use them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so let's start by talking about what an OEM Windows key is and where you can get one. An OEM key is a 25 character alphanumerical code used to activate the Windows operating system. OEM keys are generally used by system builders who by paying a lower price opt out of some of the benefits of a retail key. An OEM key and a retail key are identical except for the following few differences. One, OEM keys are meant for a single system, meaning you can't move the key from system to system however you want. And two, the biggest difference is no free support from Microsoft. This means if Windows gets messed up, it's on you or whoever purchased and installed the OS to fix it. So where can you get an OEM Windows key? Well, the site I'm going to be talking about in today's video is SCD Keys, which has Windows 10 Pro OEM keys for right around $15. I've used their site before and haven't really heard anything negative about them, so that's why I chose to use SCD keys. To get one, you just add it to your cart, check out, and then you have instant access to the key. It's that simple and you are ready to use it. To install Windows 10 on a new PC, you'll need to have a 4GB or larger flash drive and access to another computer. To create a bootable Windows flash drive, start by going to the Windows 10 download page by either googling Windows 10 download and clicking the first link for the Microsoft website, or just follow the link in the description down below. Do keep in mind to offload anything from your flash drive before doing this as it will wipe and format the drive. At this point you just download the Windows 10 installation media setup and run it. It's pretty straightforward just make sure to select Windows 10 Pro and 64-bit when it asks you and also select the flash drive you have plugged in when it asks for the device to install on. Once you've gone through all the prompts it'll create the Windows 10 installation drive. Once it's done eject the drive and you're ready to install Windows on your new PC. With the new PC off, plug in the flash drive and turn it on. Directly after turning it on, mash F12 to enter the boot menu. Select to boot to the flash drive and the PC will restart, bringing you into the Windows install process. Just go through the install process, making sure to select the hard drive in your system you want to install Windows on, and again, doing a fresh install of Windows will format and wipe any files on the drive you're installing it on. Go through the steps and when it asks you to, enter in your new OEM key. Once you go through all the prompts, it'll install Windows and have you set up a user profile. Once this is done, you will be up and running with fully activated Windows 10 Pro for only $15. For me, I already have Windows 10 installed on my PC, and today I'm going to be activating it using a key from SCD Keys. If you're going to be activating a copy of Windows 10 that's already installed like me, go to Start, Settings, Update and Security, activation, and finally select change product key. At this point, it'll ask you to enter your key, enter it, and boom, your copy of Windows will be activated. Once again, a link to SCD keys where I got Windows 10 Pro for $15 will be in the description down below. Overall, OEM keys from sites like SCD keys gives you a cheap way of having fully activated Windows 10 for a fraction of the price of retail keys. So yeah guys, I think this wraps this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up as well as consider subscribing for more PC and tech related content in the future. And as always, this is Matt from Tech by Matt, signing out.